Okay, look at my beautiful lobsters. Let's talk about these babies. So I cooked them in some boiling water for 11 minutes and the water was perfumed with some lemons and some thyme, a little bit of garlic, some bay leaves and some salt, of course. Now, let's talk about how to handle these guys. We go ahead and separate the tail from the body. If you like this green stuff, that's the tamale. That tastes very good as well. Now, look at what you can do. You can save the lobster bodies. Look at, this is one of my favorite parts of lobsters too, these little legs. Shocking the, the little legs. Oh, love, love, love. A lot of good flavor in there. But if you wanna save the bodies to make some sort of lobster stock or lobster chowder or lobster soup, you know, another time, all good, all good flavor in there. So we take the claw, gonna kind of give it a little bang with the back of your knife. Not too hard. And the thing about this is you gotta know it's messy, accept it and move on. So, you know, this isn't like, oh, I've got my super nice dress on, and I'm gonna, you know, start to clean a lobster. That always cracks me up too in fancy restaurants. And they're like, here, go ahead, get really dressed up and let's eat a lobster. This to me is like, I'd rather eat this like at a picnic table, look at that, at a picnic table in the backyard or something like that. All right, so this, the little lobster arm, there's a knuckle here that is absolutely one of my favorite bites of the lobster, this little knot of meat that's in there. So I use my kitchen shears to go right down one side of the little leg and the other side to get this all out. And look at that, oh, beautiful. That little lobster knuckle right there, this perfect little bite of meat, my favorite bite of the lobster. So I wanna make sure I get all of the stuff that's in this leg too. Look at, there's plenty of stuff going on in this lobster. Yeah. And then of course for the big money item, the tail, and we go down one, one side, right down the back. And then if you wanna break it open, ooh. And you can pull it all out like that. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Hello, beautiful lobster. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish up uh, cleaning my lobsters, and when I get back, we're moving on to making the filling for our lobster roll, our big lobster salad. Mmm, delicious. I'm working hard on my lovely little lobster rolls. I have taken my lobsters, uh, I took them out of the shell, and now I'm chopping them up for my lobster roll. I have one rib of celery that I cut up teeny, 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 little teeny tiny pieces just for a little crunch that's gonna go all the way through my lobster roll as well. So I'm chopping this meat up, so that will be standing by to whip through to make my lobster salad. So when I'm cutting the claw though, I have to make sure I take this little piece of cartilage out, otherwise it's not so palatable and delightful. So there we go. Whip through this, my clam chowder. I'm bouncing over back into clam chowder mode in a second, but look at this, hello, beautiful lobster. Mm. So I'm gonna chop up a little bit of chives and I'm gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise to this story. Now lobster rolls are not about the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise sort of helps the, the lobster stick together. So a little chives. You know, I like that little green sort of fresh oniony flavor there rather than committing to a whole onion, you know, or really that onion flavor because I don't want to I don't want to cover up the flavor of my sweet lobster so much. I have celery in there. I'm going to add a little bit of celery salt. Yum. And I'm going to start with about a half a cup of mayonnaise. You can add a little bit more if you'd like. But as I said, this is not about the huge mayonnaise stuff here. So We'll start with that and we'll see if I need to add any more. My guess is probably not. And just to keep things nice and fresh, I've got a little squeeze of lemon juice. All right, let's see where we're going here. Yeah, this is looking beautiful. It looks fresh. I have my crunchy stuff in there. I have my sweet lobster and just a little bit of mayonnaise to make everybody stick together. So let's give this a taste. Good stuff. Okay, a little bit more celery salt. Perfect. This is gonna be a great lobster roll. I have my toasted uh, top split rolls for my lobster roll. This is the really important part other than the lobster. These two things come together to make a lobster roll. It's about the buttered roll and it has to be the top split so you get this beautiful 
buttery, toasty stuff going on there. So I flavored my butter with a little bit of garlic just for a little added goodness, and I'm filling this up. And you know what? There we go. I'm digging into this right now. I can't even wait. Mm, hello, beautiful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's what I'm talking about. This makes me feel like I stopped at a little roadside stand somewhere in New England and said, give me this for lunch.